What's up, guys? Amateur Prepper here. And today on... Uh, excuse me. My apologies. The VTech Radio. We're going to go navigate through the app a little bit and offline maps. So, let me move that there. And let's go into our VTech app. Let's go... VTech app. All right, and first thing you see right here is basically both channels on your map here. W5A&R, Las Vegas. These are W5A&R is a ham channel. I just listened to it, and then of course Las Vegas is a DMRS repeater. Um, a little bit closer to me, go through it quite regularly. So the other thing you're going to notice is all these buttons on the right hand side. What do they do? All right, so right here you got your map, your satellite terrain, terrain open top of that, which is nice because as you scroll out, you can see kind of like all the hills and mountains, stuff like that. Uh, I always like the satellite Google. Uh, you can, a lot of people will do the terrain. Uh, on Google which is kind of nice actually gives you the lines and you can see uh, the depths same way let this load same thing you get to check out depths which is always nice but for now we're gonna go into settings and you got ID offline maps. Let's go into offline maps. So on the satellite, I actually need to download some terrain. I've got an offline map here. Rename, update, delete. Let's just update. It doesn't hurt. Wait for update. Terrain. Terrain Google. So we're going to go to the satellite view. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the area that we want to actually do. Now, I want to take a look here. You see download map level. Highest is 18, 2. And if you look, the highest and the lowest you go, the lower you go is going to be down here at the bottom. You see estimated download size, uh, 549. That means when you zoom in, it's not going to be the great greatest pixel. So if you go up too high, it's going to take up a lot of storage. So let's just go to 20. And if you look, just on 20 is going to be 5.83 gig. And the current map zoom level is at 11. Is that 10? 9? And if you notice, it's such a small space. I normally like to go about 16 or 15. And if you look, it's 21.23 megabytes, and you get a little bit more of an area there. So it's still a really good quality, but when you go to zoom in, zoom in, you're not going to see too much of craziness. Uh, so you see the waters and the creeks when you zoom in. Uh, that is all waterways or roadways. Not water. Uh, I take that back. Roads. There we go. Okay, so those, the blue is the roads. Where is our creek? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, we're just kind of looking at it right now. And if you look, the bigger the area you go, the more memory it's going to take. But it is nice to be able to do. So let's just do... Oh, uh, let's go back out. Let's check here. Uh, was that a whole other state, man? <laughs> so let's just say I did... That location right there, I am looking at 6 gigs sitting at 15. So if I wanted that same location, let's go down to 10. Let's just go halfway point. Okay. Made it a little bigger. Now these are my offline maps. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this because it's only 27. Halfway. And it says wait for download. Rename. Let's do Northwest. Wow. 
went to Northwest. And all these notifications. So let's go back into our settings. Let's go back into our offline maps. Satellite. And you can see here that it is downloading offline map five. It takes a while. However, once that is done, what's going to be nice, let's go back to satellite, I like satellite. What's going to be nice about this is when I actually broadcast or transmit, as I've been corrected so many times, when I broadcast from this radio to this radio, as long as it's simplex, it will tell me where I'm at on the map. Uh, one of the things I do want to test, they say whether or not it would work uh, in, uh, they say whether or not it would work without a repeater. I will be testing this when I get a repeater close by, just to see if I can pinpoint location through a repeater. Uh, some say they have, and they claim that it doesn't, but some say they've been able to do it, so I'm kind of curious on that. In my own personal testing, I had another phone that did not have any service on it and had the BTEC app and this radio program to it. And I was able to download a map. And as I went through and every time I transmit out through this radio, it would update my location in the map area. So I do know it works, but whether or not it will actually work through the repeater is what I need to actually check. So that's pretty much it. So your offline maps is really good for when you have no data or service. You're not able to actually go in and, and load Google Maps because it's just not going to load. You can technically log into your BTEC app and do this exact same thing and be able to just go in and see everything you want to. And depending on the size you do it on, depends on the size you actually need. So I would actually suggest uh, getting a external hard drive, small enough that you can fit in your backpack or whatever, and download whatever maps you want to it. So that way you're not taking up data uh, storage area on your phone, but having it on extor external, being able to plug it into your phone and be able to uh, read the maps and stuff like that and pinpoint locations and all that jazz. If you do not have service on your phone, but you're connected to a repeater, and once we test out whether these two radios will work like this through a repeater, uh, I'm curious to see how that data translates into, so if you're going hiking, you know you're within a distance of a repeater, you can talk to each other and still be able to see your location should somebody hurt themselves. Uh, if they send out a Morse code or something because they can't speak, they hurt themselves. Uh, as long as they are pressing their transmit button, it should update on your map. If you're within simplex range, I can't wait to test it out on the repeater. But for now, just download some of these maps and they will come really handy. If you're at an event, you can zoom into that area. And when, <laughs> when they, if you're within simplex range, you want to know where they are, you can actually kind of check out that. Um, it's kind of hard to really do on the Map. Let's see. I've got both of these open. In all fairness, you do have to be on the same channel. So let's go. GMRS 13. Now let's see what happens. We go in here. WRVS 778.
Okay, so that went there. Members. All right, so I did a location request, and it actually did it. So let's do that again. All right. <laughs> so it actually shows us here. Yeah, I just showed you my location. Oh well. You did this at the park, I guess. <laughs> I will blur it out a little bit because I do not need that showing my location. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's kind of nice being able to do. Let's just go to Russellville. Gas, yes, WFIVNR. Weather. 105 to 108 degrees expected. Where? Portions of northwest and west central Arkansas and east central, northeast and southeast Oklahoma. When? From noon to 9 p.m. Saturday. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this. Um, Again, I showed you how to get into settings, go to offline maps, type whatever map type you want, hit plus, and then pick. Now, see, here's the thing. I'm downloading a map for why it's all green here because I'm already downloading a map. So I can go, if I want, a secondary map area, say, uh, Washita Forest. Maybe I just want the watch tall for us. Now I can change down to 15. And it'll give me a little bit bigger of a map area. So there's that. And I hit download. Do you want to use mobile data download? Sure. I got unlimited. Now it is downloading here. And I will have this map and I can do O Mountain. So now anytime that once that is downloaded and I need to upload that, I'll have a good, excellent, I mean excellent section in here. Yeah, I keep looking at the screen to see how ugly I look. So, not really good review there. But anyways, guys, that's just the basic. Thank you for watching Amateur Prepper.